You're looking at what seems like a regular shock absorber, but inside this case is NASA-level liquid metal tech that can transform your ride 1,000 times a second. And here's the twist. This silent beast has been hiding in plain sight under Corvettes for nearly 20 years, quietly outsmarting everything from exotics to muscle cars. This might sound like science fiction, but magnetic ride control shocks are real. And they're not just for Corvettes. Hot rodders, truck guys, even import tuners are swapping these magic struts into all kinds of wild builds. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how this hidden Corvette secret can make your car corner like it's glued to the earth and handle like something out of a supercar commercial. Let's pull back the curtain. Section 1. Origins and how it works. You've probably heard about adaptive suspension, maybe thought it was a new thing, but the story starts way back, 2002, with the Cadillac Seville STS, the very first car to run magnetic ride control. The magic? It wasn't a luxury gimmick. This was true performance tech, born from Delphi engineers working with backgrounds in aerospace and military projects. A year later, the 2003 Corvette C5 rolled out with these trick dampers. From the outside, they look like plain monotube shocks. Inside, a science lab. The key is magnetorheological fluid, a synthetic hydrocarbon oil with 20 to 40% ultra-fine iron particles, about 1 to 20 microns in size. When you run current through an electromagnet in the shock's piston, the iron particles instantly align in tight chains. That alignment changes the fluid's viscosity instantly. Thicker fluid equals stiffer shock, and it happens with no moving valves or mechanical delays, just magnetic fields, electricity, and physics. Add a sensor network, accelerometers and wheel position sensors reading the road and vehicle behavior up to 1,000 times per second. Each reading feeds into a controller that tweaks the electromagnetic field in as little as one millisecond. And it's not random. It uses advanced skyhook and groundhook algorithms to decide whether to keep the body stable for comfort or keep the wheels pressed hard into the pavement for grip. It's like having a race engineer riding shotgun, making suspension adjustments in real time, faster than any human or mechanical system could ever dream. Section 2 why it's so good. Plenty of cars claim adaptive suspension, but magnetic ride control is in another league. On a rough road, MR shocks instantly relax, soaking up potholes like a luxury sedan. Mid-corner at speed, in a flash, literally within a millisecond, the shocks firm up, clamping the body down and keeping the tires stuck to the asphalt. The driver feels both comfort and control. This real-time reaction is why track results speak for themselves. The C6ZR1 was a 638 horsepower monster, but it could still hold composure on cracked public roads. The C7Z06, lap records that sent European engineers scrambling. And when Ferrari launched the 458 Italia and California with their own MR-based dampers, they were openly borrowing GM sauce. Lamborghini's Huracan, same story, magnetorheological control right from the Corvette playbook. Even heavy hitters like the Camaro ZL1 and the Hummer EV use it, one conquering racetracks, the other defying the laws of physics for a 9,000-pound electric tank. Here's where things really get wild. You don't need to own a Corvette to run Corvette suspension. Section 3. Swap Potential If you've got a Restomod Mustang, Classic Chevelle, or a Pro Touring Firebird, you can retrofit MR shocks. Aftermarket suppliers offer standalone control modules that let you run these on anything, from 1960s muscle to modern imports, and suddenly embarrass supercars in the twisties. But it's not bolted on and go. You need a control module compatible with your shocks, GMOEM, or quality aftermarket, wiring harnesses for wheel position and speed sensors, calibration tuned for your vehicle's weight, balance, and caster camber settings. Builders often hide the shocks behind fake dust boots or retro-style coil spring covers so your car still looks period correct while secretly running 21st century suspension tech. Picture a rusty C10 pickup drifting past Porsches at autocross. Nobody knows why until someone crawls underneath. Section 4. Maintenance and Pitfalls 
Before you eBay a set of used Z06 shocks, know the risks. If the seals fail, MR fluid leaks. Without its magic oil and iron cocktail, the shock is a paperweight. OEM replacements can run $300 to $500 per corner for older models, up to $1,200 plus dollars each for certain Ferraris. Also, control system integrity matters. If your wiring or sensors fail, the shocks default to their firmest setting, ride comfort evaporates. Unlike steel springs, MR shocks aren't passive. They're lifeless without electrical current. That said, MR shocks are simpler to maintain than full hydraulic active suspension systems, like early Lexus or Mercedes ABC, and far more responsive than traditional adjustable coilovers. Section 5. Legacy and Future Technology Magnetic ride control changed the suspension game. Today's EVs, like the Hummer EV, use it to tame massive curb weights and still deliver comfort. Track day builds, off-road rigs, and even hypercars benefit from a fluid tech invented in the early 2000s. And here's a cultural gem. It's one of the only Corvette parts Italians will talk about with respect. Even Marinello mechanics acknowledge, quietly, that GM nailed this one. The essence, instant adaptability, invisible complexity. It's proof that sometimes the best performance leap is the one you never see. So that's magnetic ride control, a part that might not sound as sexy as a big cam or a blower, but somehow manages to make a Corvette ride like a Cadillac and handle like it's glued to the road. It's proof that the computer age of cars isn't just about touch screens and fake engine noises. Sometimes it's about making physics your co-pilot, now don't get me wrong, I'm still a purist at heart. I love the smell of race gas, the sound of a mechanical lifter ticking away, and the feel of a proper four-speed. But when tech like this comes along and actually makes driving better without killing the soul of the car, I think it deserves its spot in the Hall of Legends. And hey, if you disagree, that's cool. Bash me in the comments, tell me I've gone soft, maybe even throw in a back in my day for good measure. But if you've ever taken a corner in a car with magnetic ride control and didn't grin like an idiot, well, you're lying to yourself.